Hello everyone, my name is Suba Ross and I am Director of Admissions for Tulane University School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine located in New Orleans. And today's interview is coming to us from an alumnus, Lieutenant Kyle Moeller. Hello Kyle. Hi Sue. Would you like Hi, to everyone. introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, so my name is Kyle Moeller. Um, I came to Tulane uh, from Camas, Washington originally. Um, I did my undergraduate at Washington State University and then came here and did my master's and PhD. That's right. Kyle, you started off working in my office, didn't you? That's did. how we first met. That's how we became <laughs> friends, yep. <laughs> yes. So Kyle, out of all of the choices you have for a graduate program, why did you select Tulane School of Public Health? Uh, there were a number of reasons, um, personal and uh, professional. Uh, one, I just wanted to really uh, move to another part of the country where I didn't really know anybody and kind of grow personally that way. Um, but professionally, I um, saw that Tulane had a great parasitology program um, in the School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine, but this was in the, the Tropical Medicine Department. Um, and so I, I really only applied to Tulane because I wanted to come here. Great. So you started off in the school, uh, in the Department of Tropical Medicine, and then you transferred, right, to Environmental Health Sciences? I did. I transferred um, after taking my intro to Environmental Health class. Um, I became really interested in uh, water quality, air quality, a bunch of environmental health topics, and thought that that would be a better uh, route for my career and life. And um, so I was able to make the switch over to the Environmental Health Program. Well, that's right. Uh, Tulane actually does allow you to change programs. I originally started off in biostatistics, and then I changed to tropical medicine. And I absolutely love the parasitology program. It's fantastic. Well, Kyle, you also completed a doctoral degree here, a PhD. I did. So what led to that decision? Um, a number of things, but I just uh, you know, really wanted to uh, be able to find a job where I would have the ability to kind of direct my own path and so I was concerned um, about leaving with with my masters and kind of starting at a level where I would really have to um, you're gonna be well prepared with your masters I just wanted to be able to direct my own research once I was done so I, I, I went on for the PhD good choice then uh, what was your experience like on campus here how was your academic career it was great um, so just the professors are, um, are really personable. I was able to make a number of, of great connections with my professors. Um, I, just today I went down the hall and spoke with them, a number of them, uh, just catching up and, and saying hello. Um, they are all really knowledgeable on their, their topics and uh, just kind of across the board in public health. Um, and the coursework was excellent. Very good. Um, well, since you have your doctorate, what doors have been open for you uh, career-wise? So as I mentioned earlier, um, I've been able to start directing my own research um, at, at my current job, which we'll, I think we'll talk about a little later. Um, <laughs> but so it's been able to, and it's given me my entire career path. I'm able to, um, to go into uh, a program, start working on multi-state research programs, and directing those research programs uh, on my own. Well, let's talk a little bit more about your career. Tell us your, your position and, and what do you do? Okay, yeah, so I'm uh, an occupational epidemiologist with the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Um, at that, uh, at my office, I run the, uh, or I'm the assistant program coordinator for the oil and gas uh, extraction safety program. So we um, try to reduce the number of fatalities that occur among oil and gas workers in the United States. Excellent. And your uniform? My uniform, yeah. So I'm part of the U.S. Public Health Service, uh, which is a uniformed part of the, the Department of Health and Human Services. Um, you'll probably recognize the Surgeon General. He's our, our, our figurehead, uh, so to say. And um, we uh, are able to deploy with these uniforms. So we're in, in the uniform service, we're able to deploy on a number of, of health missions. Do you find your career fulfilling and rewarding? I do. Um, we can see tangible effects with um, the research that we do. So, you know, when you see the fatality rate in a certain industry start to decrease, um, you you know that that's those are real people who are are still alive because of the work that you're doing. 
and that is a major impact. Real public health at work, right? Public health at work <laughs> with a you know a real um, life changing work. Well, Dr. Moeller, can you tell our audience if you have any advice for anyone that wants to come to Tulane? Yeah, so definitely come and visit Tulane. Um, see the city, make sure it's the right fit for you. Um, speak with potential professors, ensure that you are um, asking them questions about you know, what kind of topics they, they discuss. Are they able to help guide you in, in your interests in, in public health? Um, and just make sure that it's, it's a right fit um, academically for you and, and personally. Okay, and do you have any advice for anyone particularly wanting to study environmental health sciences? Yeah, um, so one, just ensure that you um, are open to a number of issues and know that environmental health is uh, everywhere um, in any topic. So for instance, with this COVID-19 um, outbreak right now, um, some people may think that environmental health doesn't play a major role, but uh, environmental health is everywhere and in every topic. So be ready to um, apply yourself to pretty much any health issue that's out there. Do you think New Orleans is a good place to study environmental health sciences? I think New Orleans is a perfect place to study environmental health sciences. Um, New Orleans has a number of, of challenges in environmental health, and uh, it's kind of a living laboratory for the students here. Uh, so when you look out the window, you can you can see um, environmental health challenges that need to be addressed. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us to here today. I'm so happy to get to see you again and spend this time together. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Well, I'm Super Ross, and this is Dr. Lieutenant Kyle Moeller. <laughs> thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>